Iran fired a salvo of ballistic missiles at Israel on October 1st in retaliation for Israel's campaign against Tehran's Hezbollah allies in Lebanon. Alarms sounded across Israel and explosions could be heard in Jerusalem and the Jordan River Valley after Israelis piled into bomb shelters. Israel's military spokesman said Iran's missile attack was serious and will have consequences, but declined to specify how and when Israel would respond. Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said he was not aware of any casualties from the missile volley. He said there were a few hits in the center of the country and in the south. Projectiles could be seen descending at high speed in the general direction of the port city of Haifa. Waves of projectiles were seen over Tel Aviv and Jaffa, with some intercepted by air defenses. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the United States is tracking the events in the Middle East very closely and is committed to Israel's defense. A few hours ago, Iran, for the second time in the space of five months, launched a direct attack on Israel, including some 200 ballistic missiles. This is totally unacceptable, and the entire world should condemn it. Uh, initial reports suggest that Israel, with the active support of the United States and other partners, effectively defeated this attack. Traces from firearms were seen fired into the air over Beirut in celebration for Iran's missiles barrage on Israel. Iran's elite revolutionary guards said on Tuesday they launched tens of missiles toward Israel and warned that if Israel retaliated, Tehran's response would be more crushing and destructive, Iranian state TV reported.